Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Due to the overwhelming watching um, and views and everything like that of the January kit I made, I decided I was going to show off the February kit. Um, I, I had always kind of intended to do a kit for every month of Project Life um, because I am trying to do a low, no spend type of situation this year. So I'm not buying into any subscriptions with paper crafting other than Coffee Monster Co. I'm not, you know, buying anything other than supplies is kind of the goal. I mean, we're we're literally like not even two months into the year. So, you know, we'll give ourselves grace when we get there. Um, this looks very obnoxious for February and I'm going to explain that in a second. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the January kit. Um, let me know if you guys are kind of on a similar journey trying to do like a low to no spend. Um, and I'd love to, you know, help you out if you have any questions on that. Um, obviously I do not count like tape, staples, pens, glue, like your basic items, like obviously refill those, but you know, just trying to uh, keep it down the low. If you need to restock a particular item because you were legitimately out of it um, and you can't come up with a creative way to work around that to save yourself even a little bit more money, then, you know, by all means, treat yourself, you know, that's what birthdays and Christmases and anniversaries and all of that good stuff is for. I'm going to clip these tags off while I'm thinking about it. Um, it's ridiculous. These pouches are from Avery L. I will put the link down below in the description if they are still available. I got them off Amazon. I freaking love them. Um, I would like to get some more of them. As of right now, I only have three and now all three are completely packed. Obviously this will rotate, I feel. Um, so when it comes to like January product, and this is something that I've struggled with in the past, I do like to reuse any and all like pouches, whether that's to make a little Happy Meal pouch and send it out to somebody or whether that's reusing it to make next year's kit or what have you, you know, maybe keep ephemera in. I know I sometimes take these with me on trips. So I think that they're super helpful and universal. Um, but as far as kit making goes to stay on topic, obviously there was only one pouch for January. It's not that I don't have a lot of January stuff. I just feel like all of that like resolution stuff um, and obviously like January 1st, Happy New Year, Countdown, all of those cards need to stay in that place. Um, so what I'm probably going to do at the end of my weeks for January is dive into that kit, break it out, um, and either A, put it away, or B, make a smaller maybe card kit. Um, I know if you guys are interested in seeing that breakdown video of what it becomes, let me know. But like right now I have a bunch of the January specific cards in like a little card holder thing like this. Um, so I might just de-stash the rest of it, put the rest back into other things or into the normal stock of things. We'll see how it goes. The point is that you want to, before that month starts, you want to pull everything together that you think logically might be helpful. I know in my January kit, I explicitly said like, I don't pull out enamel dots. I don't pull out like my word phrase stickers. Those are all literally like below my feet when I'm crafting. Like I have a pouch for... We're just showing all the behind scenes stuff today. This is my pouch of like stuff I want to pull from quickly. Like it's everything from labels to chipboard to this is all word phrase stickers. Like it's, it's bananas down there, but it's the first place I go to, to grab and to refill. These, these artist loft ones are from Michael's. I'm a fan of bags. I'm a fan of bags. I'm a fan of kits, DIYing them, big fan. Um, so now that we're done ranting about all the other behind the scenes stuff, let's get into this and why it's so freaking obnoxious. I will also link the February video from two years ago because I'm pretty sure I did it in a like hardcover type of case, um, and put everything but the kitchen sink in them. So here's the thing. I have a massive love of anything that is Halloween. Crate Paper Maggie Holmes, I'm Sonat, they're one and the same, um, Christmas and Valentine's. I could, and I, I mean, obviously floral, but like that's literally like my niches right there. That's the majority of what I have. Um, 
And here's the thing. I don't even love the commercialization of Valentine's Day. I could give a rat's ass. Like, truly. I do not. Like, I can't tell you how many Valentine's Days that I have just been like, I'm going to sit at, we're going to sit at home. And I want to order a heart-shaped pizza from somewhere. Like, super low budget. Let's watch a movie. It doesn't have to be cute, girly, romantic. You know, I'm not the biggest. I'm more of uh, food is my love language, 100%. So, like, I love flowers. Don't get me wrong. But they die. Um, thinking about it now, I'm probably going to get flowers today. For the record, it's January and I'm pre-filming this. But my work anniversary is coming up. So, I'm probably getting flowers today. And it's pouring down rain outside. So that's going to be really fun to get home. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Side tangent. But, um, yay me. Uh, so in lieu of that, I honestly have the biggest amount of products for those things. It's, and it's the hearts. It's the flowers. It's the pink. It, let me tell you guys, it is the pink. It's the pink. Um, I love pink. I love like light lilac colors, which are becoming more prevalent in Valentine's products as well. I love that pretty teal color that you see right there. Like it is, I figured this out about a year or two ago that it's my obsession with like spring coming and my birthday is like first day of spring. So, um, I'm an Aries. Hey Aries peeps. Um, <laughs> but basically I just love the aesthetic of Valentine's. So, I tend to have a lot of it, even though I have like more cute romantic things to document throughout the year that have absolutely nothing to do with Valentine's. I just love the aesthetic of it all. So that being said, I have an actual metric shit ton of it. So we're going to go through this as like normally as humanly possible. Um, and I would like to pre-apologize if there's a craft lanch. Again, a lot of this honestly transforms this is barbaric a lot of this transferred over from that major kit that I built two years ago like I kind of again keep that stuff sequestered because my goal is to obviously get through it at some point um and the best way to do that is to like keep it together pull it back out when I need it um again that can also be slightly problematic so you've got to do what works for you um this is a mess so that doesn't work for me um here, we'll just roll this back up while we chat. Um, I should not be singing for sure. Um, but essentially at the end of a kit, I really should break this one down, especially because so much could go like in other areas that have absolutely nothing to do with the month of February or Valentine's or anything like that. This is very crazy. So we'll just talk about this for a second. This is an old roll of kind of like sticker washi type of situation. Like this is definitely something that I could probably put in my stash for um, Hobonichi because all of these little dots are actually like washi paper-esque. Like they're very, very, very thin. Um, I could probably roll some out and de-stash them for sure because I've had them for ages. I'm pretty sure it's from a Studio Calico kit about an eternity ago. But obviously with the fact that it has like the love, the XO, all the hearts, the be mine, it ended up in the February kit. So there's that. And another thing, we'll talk about where each and every product comes from for sure as we go through. Um, but it is a lot of older product. That's, this video is meant to basically just show you what I'm chucking in my kit, some ideas that you maybe had not thought of, and I hope that it gives you inspiration. So I've got a bunch of three by four cards in here from all over. So all different kits. Sorry, I'm not going to flip through these painfully for all of you guys. Um, it's either one side or another that just kind of gave me that February Valentine's vibe. Maybe there's a prompt. Um, obviously, lots of like be mine and Valentine's themed things. But these are the three by four. I don't have another little case. Um, so they're just kind of floating around in that bag. Um, I don't think I did throw these in. These are some more three by four cards. Stuff like Amour, lots of pink, spring, fun, goodness like that. And those are some old Project Life cards from Hobby Lobby. Some random four by six cards, Stop and Smell the Roses. 
And again, all of these could be, oh, there's the rest of my four by six cards. Um, ones from Project Life, like old kits. I know that is probably Studio Calico, like a really old one. I know these are from Hobby Lobby, like super cute little like love bird kind of thing. Just dive in the stash and see what you find. And if it jumps out at you to be something, or maybe say someone's birthday is coming up in March, um, pull out your birthday stuff, like throw that in there. Um, just kind of like think a little bit ahead. The point is to shop your stash. And I think sometimes when um, you have all the product in the world to pull from, it just gets so overwhelming. I know it does for me. Like my, the way that this island sits, I literally look dead ahead and can see all of my paper um, on my craft cubes. And I could tell you like just staring at it, like what each little block is. Actually, a lot of my February stuff has got, has like its own box. Like it's crazy. I do want to do like a studio tour. I use studio in quotations because Mm. <laughs> I live in a small one bedroom apartment. I have a craft organizer in front of me, which you might be able to see a little bit on the outskirts of camera. I keep a sticker box here, pins here. All my craft cubes are in front of me, but then there's also like this big giant cabinet in front of me that holds a lot of other paper and stuff and crafty supplies. I really need to do a big reorg. And then maybe, maybe I'll have to do like a before and after of like each little section. Maybe that's what we do. And we just like make that the project of the year. And it's like reorganized crafts 101. Um, these are from Studio Calico and are ancient and are a pain in the butt. <laughs> I cannot seem, I'm trying so hard to de stash them. I love little chipboard hearts, and then I've also got these, like, wood ones. I think they actually have more than one set of those somewhere. Um, these are really cute. These are <laughs> uh, date night tickets, and some of them are empty, and some have, like, let's see. And I thought this would be really cute, like, if Jeff and I do something. And again, like, there's a wow, I'm all over the place. Like we have a concert set for the summer. So I might hold this back and make sure I stick it in that month's kit. Um, we're not doing a candlelight dinner. Cozy night in is literally like my life. And I always have that please. Um, couples massage, mm, probably not. Um, a weekend getaway, definitely. Like that might be really cute. Almost like we could do this with like a week number on it to do like a whole spread about the weekend away dinner and a movie like all that kind of cute stuff or maybe I use the date night ticket envelope to write a little note or maybe if it's private and I want to talk about that like I can always kind of put this in the spread and you could like pull it out of a three by four pocket and then read more about like what happened or maybe I'll print some like smaller photos off about it. So just some ideas like, and I think I got those from Michael's forever ago. I was in Michael's the other day, but I didn't look for them. This is the February kit for 2022. Oh, there's more stuff in here. So I think all the cards fell out. Now I'm starting to understand what might have happened here. So these are all a bunch of three by four cards. Clearly something went awry. This has FE15. So <laughs> this was most likely from a Studio Calico kit in 2015. So what I would probably do is do this for February 15th of whatever year. Like use it as a day to talk about whatever happened. Um... If you've watched the Project Life Week 1 videos, then you'll know that these are from a Cut Apart page that was with um, Crate Paper. And obviously this is not going to be applicable anymore because it's going to be out of order, but I could still use that and do like week whatever and put a star maybe at the start and the end. It'd be something that I would want to do. Obviously lots of February 14th stuff. Looks like we've got some word phrase stickers, um, more three by four cards for all the pink Valentine's needs. I do want to start pulling all these out because I think I might use these for next year um, because it looks like I'm kind of trending to use this Allie Edwards card as like my constant sticker or sticker, my constant card to use to just kind of keep a little continuity between everything. 
I know a lot of people asked about the printables. I say a lot. I think I got like two comments. Um, I print my printables on Nia. Nina. I think it's N-E-E-N-A-H. Bright white cardstock. It's going to have like um, pool balls on or billiards however you want to say it, billiard balls on the cover or on the wrapping so that's what you're looking for um and I just used the printer at work I'm going to be totally honest um but these are a ton of principles from mainly Studio Calico and then I've also thrown in some from um Nellie and Clem. That shop is no longer open. She decided to close it at the end or somewhere towards the middle, I would say towards the end of last year, but she made like super cute stuff. So I just pulled some out of my stash, like little scraps and stuff that I may want to use for whatever. Um, so I pulled those out. I'm going to start moving some things around a bit just so that we don't have a hot mess on our end. We're just tuck everything back in there. I still can't get over that they're really like fell out or were everywhere. Actually, I can believe it. Yep, that's probably why. Because <laughs> I'm not sliding things in. I'm not caring very much. I will reorganize this slightly better so that like maybe put all the paper in one bag and then all the ephemera in another. This is actually really cute. This is the XO kit. So this was one of the Allie Edwards story kits which I think is super cute. Lots of X's and O's. So this whole kit is just tucked in here. So if we do something super cute, this would definitely apply. Again, I don't have to let it be that. You know, this might be stuff to document like the free day, one of the free days that we're getting on the New Orleans trip. This might be better suited to actual Valentine's weekend. Like we may go do something. Um, it could be saved until my birthday if we go do something. So all of that is open to interpretation. I'm gonna start back here. So it looks like I have some chipboard and a bunch of effing scraps, good Lord. Okay, keep in mind that a lot of stuff has come from Tuesday morning as well. So Tuesday morning, I'm not sure how prevalent that is outside of the States. I don't think it exists really. The stores have been cut down a lot, if not closed in a lot of locations, but it used to be a really great spot like before COVID for sure. But like during COVID, I really shopped the bejesus out of many of them when I could go and get out. Um, and I got so many really good American crafts products. I got a lot of like my hard plastic cases there, lots of like washi and ephemera that never even really made it to retail. Like, I don't even know why, like it was super bizarre, but, um, unfortunately that does make it almost impossible to get a hold of. And I'm so sorry about that. Um, obviously I have lots and lots and lots of new old tons of crazy like this is one of my favorite pages ever I freaking love it and those were from like a Joann's like sellout probably and I just got a bunch of them oh that one's super cute where is that the tin man with his heart oh love it some of these are really 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 old like I mean when I first started scrapbooking old cut apart pages obviously lots of scraps galore you want to make sure, like I said, you know, I think it's hard, you know, to determine what's going to go in here and what's not. And like you, only you can figure that out. But one thing that I have noticed is that it's hard to like build a kit and either a air on the side of, um, you don't want to have too much to pick from because like I said, I don't do a lot of room that sounds bad um I'm not out there you know in a valentine sweater every other day and I'm not out there you know going to every instagrammable bar and this that and the other for you know that's themed I'm just not doing all that so sure I could with the prompt of the paper but um you know, it might be that you do a spread about self-love. It might be a spread that you just do that's super girly and pink the week of 
Valentine's um, or whenever you celebrate Valentine's. Um, if you do, or if you want to do like a no Valentine spread, you know, and add a bunch of black to this, that would be really, really cool to do like an anti Valentine thing, I think. Um, depending on what your stance is. I'm gonna take the chunky pieces out here first. But essentially, like, because I have this all separated into a section, it also helps me, like, when this kit is broken down and put away, if I'm doing a spread and I'm like, okay, this is very lovey-dovey, I'm gonna go look in that section. Like, it kind of, it's so much, so it does get pulled from all year long. Um, but, I do have to keep in mind that other things are going to happen throughout the month that have absolutely nothing to do with Valentine's. So I almost wish that I included maybe like another collection, but I have so much of this. Um, I have talked about this in previous videos as well that I am very good at um, whenever I print all the photos, I lay them all out and I kind of like... Sometimes I'll even do them on my phone in the Project Life app, but I might, um, I'll lay the photos out and I'm like, okay, well, I do want to talk about this photo in a whole, like I want a journaling card or I want like a title, like an extra title card to talk about this moment. I want space for this and I kind of lay it out accordingly. Then I look at the photos and I'm like, okay, what colors? Do I feel like need to be represented? What's the vibe? What's the theme? Because a lot of my stuff is separated by collection, not color or anything like that. So I'm looking, so I'm trying to think of an example recently, or, you know, I'll say like, I'll use like week one and one little word. Um, I really knew I wanted to use Willow Lane and I wanted to use Maggie Holmes because those are my favorite things and those are things I value. Um, but I was like, I really wanna see them in my scrapbook. Like it's so pretty to look at and they need to like get used and get loved. And I thought that would be so pretty. And so I immediately could like pull that out and start playing with it. And I, I remembered that there was a clock in the Willow Lane. It's like a little bird cuckoo clock kind of thing. And I thought that's perfect for like a first of the year currently because it's literally like at midnight slash new year so I thought that would be cute like I'm good at you know this is an element that I want present and usually it's pretty presentable like the clock thing or maybe it might be a birthday theme so you're gonna go pull your birthday stuff but I'm just really good about that this is more for me to bash through some of this product um, and I guarantee you so much of it will go into next year's kit because no matter how hard I try, A, I end up buying more somewhere along the way. I've done really well this year <laughs> because I think I bought like quite a bit over several years, not understanding that it would come back, but I digress. These are a bunch of like little confetti things. Um, these are really fun to throw into a pocket and then seal up. I do have a fuse tool, so I can do that. These are ginormous, like hard hearts. I thought those were cute. more confetti because you can never have enough confetti. My mom actually, when I was in high school, and I used to love this, um, I was such a nerd. I, my mom would, even though I made my own lunch, my mom would often put like a card in my backpack or something. Um, if a holiday was happening or if it's like the first day of school, she used to put con like themed confetti in the card. Well, first of all, she usually handmade the card, which was also really, really cool. And I have a lot of those. Um, I saved every single one of them, but um, she would put confetti in them. So I quite often either A, saved the confetti or have also become a confetti-aholic. And there's so many really cute ones that you can get too. I know I saw some at Michael's, but I knew I already had them and I needed to like chill out. And I've bought some, you know what? I wonder if it's in here or if it's in another spot um, packet somewhere. I do have some heart confetti that's like pink and green and gold. Um, I also have a really weird brain that can somehow categorize all the crafty supplies that I have. It's very strange how much my brain can actually remember that I do have. Um, but more or less, um, I do have a confetti problem and I do love it. And I think that that's such a cute idea when I've seen it done, like the little shaker pockets. 
Um, so lots of ephemera. Like I said, I really love that heart day page. So I do have a bunch of these sheets. I did pick up quite a few. I think I had to look in a couple places for them. Uh, paper house stickers. These you can pick up at Target usually every single year and it's two full sheets. So if you like kind of the look of this, these are really accessible. I have several of those. The cards, because sometimes I'll give Owen a card. Lots of, um, I've got a couple like 3D sets like this. I love the felt element of that. What's that little bear? Super cute. And really old paper pad. It's kind of got like a vintage Valentine's thing going on. Word phrase stickers. I, it's weird. I, I've seen this set in a couple different colors. And I don't mean like pink, blue, purple, stuff like that. It's either white or pink. And I think there's something weird about the printing that gets done that some batches turn out pink and some white. I don't know. I got this at Tuesday morning. It's like a whole thing, this whole thing. So you get the accents or the ephemera. It's like a two-sided six by eight paper pad. There's a whole sticker book back there. That was a find for sure. These are really cute. I love these. You basically cut into this so that it fringes, which is cute. Obviously very glittery. Thickers, more thickers, more stickers, lots of Tuesday morning price tags. Again, super sorry about that. Um, some really, really old Mambi stickers. Uh, ephemera, some frame, a frame, frames plural, that have some pink elements to it. I know I have more than one of these. There they are. These are actually really old Victoria's Secret envelopes that used to come. I used to work for Victoria's Secret like a million years ago, like when I was literally 18. Um, I went to work for them. Um, these used to be in the like big boxes, like the box set of fragrance. Like you would get the fragrance, the mini, the lotion, a shower gel, sometimes a candle like this. Um, which I, so I just kept them. Um, uh, and it says VF I love you instead of PS I love you. Um, which I think is cute. Again, this is like a cute way to like stick it in a three by four slot and maybe talk about a date night or maybe something sexy that you bought for yourself or for you and your partner, like super cute. Um, lots of old, old, old soft spoken pieces for me and my big ideas. So for those of you out there who don't know me and my big ideas, AKA Mambi used to, who is now Happy Planner. If you look really close, you can see that that's still there. That's, that used to be what they do is scrapbooking. And then they just went into the planner world and exploded. Um, again, more of these stickers. I, I think I've just accidentally bought too many, truthfully, um, over time on accident. Yikes. Um, but you can usually pick them up at Target every year. Um, again, more very thick thick i like you very much how cute you are utterly something i might use that for my mom's birthday actually i like the um the alligator and i actually may use that for a different spread these would also be really cute for like a like a zoo trip if i did one or something like that um super cute lots of paper clips random things like that more of those heart day stickers some tags i think the ah that ladies and gentlemen is a bunny bite so when i lived at my mom's we got jessica she's actually officially now been with us for four years but she took a liking to my craft supplies and they were like gertie my our previous bunny didn't have his front incisors anymore we'd had them taken out because he had some teeth issues but she is um very voracious um about gnawing away at cardboard um and did some damage to my bed as well she's crazy um she's a mess but uh she took a liking to some of the edges thankfully she didn't get into anything too too bad but she did bite a good amount of shoe boxes craft supplies again nothing to damaging quality like that's fine you didn't actually eat my product but we went through we went through a spell 
for sure. <laughs> um, these are super cute, and I think you can get them at Michael's this year as well. Um, I think they look a little bit different, but these would be so cute to do as like a little, you know, garland border on a spread. I'm a big fan of texture. I really like the felt. I like puffy stickers. I like labels. I like, you know, every element that I can get high and low. If you guys have seen that um, week one video where I like folded the hearts in half and then just glued the center down so that it would still look textural and like layered. Um, even in a pocket, you can tell it's not glued all the way down, which is really fun for me. I like having the glitter and the enamel dots. I like having, I loved those books as kid, as a kid, when you could like touch like the felt or the wool or, you know, the leather or whatever. And I liked being able to pull things out of pockets and have the letters. And I loved those kind of pull and play books so much. So I definitely feel like that's definitely prevalent in my scrapbooking style and in my journaling style. Um, so that pretty much covers everything. If you have any questions, let me know. How are you getting on with your project life? Are you already behind? Um, I'm actually doing okay. Like I'm trying to give myself a little bit of grace. My technique right now is trying to print photos on Sunday evening or a Monday morning for that week. Um, and then play with them. Things are a little hinky right now as I prepare to be gone. Obviously, you're going to see this video while I'm on my trip. So I'm kind of doing things in quite a few true tense. And I'm trying really hard this year to get ahead. And to also, once the videos are up and I feel like I'm in a really good place to start go back, to start to go back and edit descriptions and chapters so that they're more viewable and easy for you guys. Um, but if this happens to be an unedited video or not have a description is what I mean, um, and you have a question about a product or anything like that, please let me know. I'm super happy to answer and I'm usually pretty prompt, like within 24 to 48 hours, like I would say even within 24, um, unless all hell has broken loose, I will pop in there and give you the answer that you need or the link that you need or whatever. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this video as much as you did the January video. And I look forward to doing one for you guys in March, which will be super fun and probably have a ton of Maggie Holmes in it because that is my fave and it is my birthday month. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And until the next time, enjoy creating your own little wonderlands. Bye everybody.